At this point, we might sound like a broken record, but it is the way it is. God of War is a beautiful return to the franchise, and if you're still on the fence, perhaps this will help you decide. Our journey with Kratos begins anew in our review for the PlayStation 4 exclusive God of War. And here I thought your kind was supposed to be so enlightened, so much better than us. Let's take away any fears old fans have of the franchise. This is God of War. In its initial hours, there's quite a learning curve, figuring out how things work differently this time. From the RPG elements like stat management via gear to improve your strength or defense, or finding the additional runic abilities to match your playstyle. This God of War borrows from a lot of things from other games, and it can be a challenge to adjust seemingly familiar mechanics as you play it at first. I assume we have you to thank for freeing us from a watery grave. Us? Other spirits. The Lake of Nine is full of them. It's difficult, but not Dark Souls difficult. It's RPG, but more superficial like Assassin's Creed Origins. It's real-time action combat with several options during combat, but not too complicated. Gone are the fixed dollhouse view camera and quick time events, but everything else Santa Monica Studios has made work and very much their own, because by the time you reach a certain spoilerific point in the story, you'll be rewarded with even more satisfying combat options. Come. No looking back now. We spent about 25 hours completing the main story, only straying from the path a few times to discover new things in Midgard. In this journey, we see a Kratos who has emotionally hit rock bottom, with barely any room for his rage and anger from his Greek days. He now has to discover how to raise his boy Atreus, who, to the player, is obviously more than just a human kid. We know Kratos is the god of war, but it's clear Atreus doesn't, so seeing how Kratos deals with parenthood and tries to keep the past a secret is surprisingly engaging. What are you doing? Now his guard is up! Only fire! Only fire when I tell you to fire. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. Even in combat, he is much wiser and tactical in his approach, a parallel that definitely connects to a seasoned fan of the franchise. Reviewing the story is difficult as everything is a spoiler. There are a couple of plot twists and progression points which really keep the narrative from progressing at a sluggish pace, but in terms of side quests, they're interesting and rewarding enough for Kratos to literally acknowledge that these labors for others will be useful, as it will train up the boy and provide resources. Only for a short while. Boy, we are leaving. Midgard and the other realms offer some great locations and set pieces seamlessly interwoven with the gameplay to bring this story to life. It's a strange, new, fantastically dense world to explore with your son. Who you were before doesn't matter. This boy is not your past, he is your son. And he needs his father. The mechanic with Atreus is an important one, and incorporated into the gameplay wonderfully. Kratos' son is never a nuisance, except for story reasons at some point. You feel he really is learning the tricks of the trade, and his constant need for acknowledgement and assessment after a fight seems expected and makes sense, rather than feel annoying. The boy is an asset, and his abilities are simple to execute. His character arc is well done and accompanies Kratos' development in a rather natural way. If you were worried he'd be incredibly talkative or an annoying brat, he doesn't chat for the sake of filling up dead air. During combat, he gives you a heads up from where an enemy might strike or if there are fireballs incoming. With puzzles, he's an extra pair of eyes to give the player hints sometimes, and for world building, he's the one who can read the runes and chronicle everything for the player. But even more than that, there's actually more quality conversational banter between the characters that's familiar to the Mass Effect series that really show you his character development. It's functional in just the right amount. You don't gotta tell me. Talking to the design director during a preview event, he explained that they took all the God of War ingredients and made a different meal this time. It's a claim that rings true, 
This is a rebirth, not in lore and story, but one in gameplay and modernizing the franchise for a new era, and it's a fantastic new foundation to start building from. Ultimately, we would have loved spending more time in the various realms to meet more characters. There was a lot of mention of several Norse gods, but we didn't get to see them. Perhaps that's left for us to discover in DLC, or hopefully the next entry in possibly the best exclusive the PlayStation 4 has to offer. We gladly give God of War a 5 out of 5.